Okay, hello everyone. On to Motonari's story. Let's go to Composer 3. The time has come. I remember him having a pretty standard red path. Uh, his blue path I quite like. But I'm not sure if we'll do both of his routes or just do the blue route. Nemesis the Rent Collector. Who is that? <laughs> Remember, I have no interest in your plans. You can have the whole country, except, of course, for Chugoku. Chugoku is to be mine alone. Oh, it's Saimao. Yeah, he's the only one that changes his name Agreed. so often. Well, aside from Motonari's wife. <laughs> Agreed. of Ieyasu will know my wrath! What battle is this that they're all fighting one another? Remember, Yoshitsugu. We have to remain focused on the task at hand. The death of Ieyasu. <laughs> Motonari Mori, ruler of the Chugoku region, held no interest in the subjugation of the country, but rather for the security of the Mori clan. Following the downfall of Nobunaga Oda's empire, Lord Hideyoshi swept across the country with his domineering forces and swiftly conquered the land. Realizing that any resistance to Hideyoshi's forces would be futile, Motonari instead succumbed to his will, not only to maintain peace, but also to preserve his armies. When Ieyasu's forces overthrew Hideyoshi, Motonari allied with Mitsunari Ishida in opposition. Now a member of the Western Army, Motonari began to scheme and plot his place in the approaching war. Let me make one thing explicit to you, Motonari Mori. I will never forgive you for your betrayal. And if you ever dare turn your back on me, I will kill you by Ieyasu's side. Easy, Mitsunari. You need not worry about a thing. And do not forget, Motonari, that you and I share an eternal bond of friendship. Your interests and mine are perfectly aligned. Really, there is nothing more we need discuss. You always have to worry about something, don't you, Yoshitsugo? I only do this for justice, and to expand Mitsunari's influence. Now, as for your duties, are you clear? Yes. Crystal. There are... All right, let's get the blue path conversation. Yeah, I do think we'll do the red path, and depending on how long that takes, I might just knock out the blue path in this one sitting. Dude, what are his R2s? I remember, remember his R2s not being great. Brainwash. What does it do again? Converts enemies into allies. Last until player takes damage. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't seem very useful, honestly, but we'll try it. Okay, let's check out his weapons. That's his default. And his second is a lot more vicious looking. It's just jagged as hell and radiating light. And that's kind of like a cogwheel. 
Ghost's third weapon. And this one is obviously reminiscent of the sun. And this is... Not entirely sure what this is. Oh, flowers. Okay. It's just a flower wheel. I kind of like his reforged standard weapon. I like the purple. And then the gold one. Oh god, it's so bright! Alright, we'll... We'll fight our enemies with the sun. The Yush we have for ally. Probably Yoshitsugu. No one else Motonari is really friends with. And what is the second outfit? Oh, it's... Significantly worse. I guess it's more sun-like. His boots get really curly. Like, he's got, like, uh... Uh, what's a character with boots like that? So Someone in Alice in Wonderland has to have boots like that. <laughs> or Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, his boots are the hill in Nightmare Before Christmas. Anyways. Right. I know there's a cutscene for the Zavi stage. Is there one for Kanbe? I'm not sure. I don't think there's one for Tsurihime. The cutscene for the Zabi stage isn't much of a cutscene. Uh, let's see. We did the Zabi stage a bunch last stream, though. We did all these stages last stream, damn it. You know what, let's just do the Zabi one so I know there's a cutscene. Well, if Yoshitsugu is going to make a move... Then I shall as well. Everyone, prepare yourselves for a full-scale attack! We must strengthen our rear defenses so that we may advance swiftly to the east! Yes, my lord! As you command! Yeah, the blue path is better, but uh, I'm gonna wait and do that after we finish the red path. What is this feeling? I feel a chill. In my heart, something awakens. must remain shut my name is Sunday no Mutanari Mori I am the exalted child of the Sun these feelings they are unacceptable I refuse to submit to worthless emotions my lord yeah most of you are probably wondering what the fuck that was about you're Your not gonna get an answer. Me, Munashige. <laughs> Be quiet. Welcome to the greatest country on earth, Soren's nation of Zavism. Well, the chat's probably gonna spoil it, anyways. So, in Togoku Basura 2, and in certain routes in Togoku Basura 3, but Denari can be converted to Zavism. So that's his inner struggle with him wanting to be a part of Zavism. See, yeah, I've just been using his S string so far. If you hold square, go do the spinning attack, which is pretty good. My lord, I hear a voice singing out, as if from nowhere. It echoes through my skull. The genuine pain he's in. 
See, that's his forward triangle, which is a pretty basic attack. It launches enemies, so it gives you some distance to essentially plan your next move. Also, I think Motonari's attack stat is pretty low. So that's gonna be annoying. He's not even on the map yet, dude. Chill out. His neutral triangle summons a bunch of archers. And they are way more aggressive than regular archers. They are weakening. Also, you can smack it them. To have and their bodies will actually hurt the enemy. Like this. His L1 triangle produces a decoy that enemies will actually prioritize, and after enough time, well, of course, Munishigi is going to trigger a scout thing. There are two things that I inherited from my. After enough time, it'll explode on its own. News, my lord. And do not but you can also use Mozanari's taunt and have it explode prematurely. At any rate, I must defend this residence with all my might. Only a Bodhishige could handle a weapon like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna run from Munishige this time. Mostly just says I don't want to fight him as much as I. You stepped on my portrait, Munashige. How could you allow this? Let's try his R two. Yeah, I've now brainwashed these soldiers, so they'll now attack in tandem with me. You are all Parson Zaldi's disciples, and you must spread his teachings. As you wish, Lord Sorin. I'm not worried about dishonoring safety. I'm not sure how much damage they really do. But whatever, more damage is more damage. I sure am glad to be under my general's command for this. But the Narang has a light element, but I'm not actually sure what it does. I never could win against her in an argument. Maybe she should be general. See, and Motonari's R1... Well, Motonari's R1 is really hard to set up. As strange as we may look. But it produces a barrier that you can knock around by attacking. You are the warriors who battle the... I do hope and this I is his boss rush. The stars in peace to my Which is just doing a bunch of attacks and then praising the sun. The R1 can actually reflect projectiles back into the enemy, and if you if you're able to set up two R1s, you can actually bounce the enemy in between them, like that. You can see them bouncing back and forth between. And also, Motonari has friendly fire on, so he'll hit his allies too. And this is like this is some of the highest game. damage output in the game if you bounce enemies in between these two barriers. But it's really difficult to set up. To improve my skills, I account for each battle with an entry in my diary. Because as you can see, producing it takes like a full three seconds for just one of them to get out. I am not interested in unification. The Mori clan will rise again to glory, 300 years from now! Now can I brainwash a general? A few of us with common sense. Yeah, I can. Neat. I am a, I am a follower of Zavism. 
And weirdly, you don't actually hurt your brainwashed enemies. I hope his spirit was with you in your last moments of devoted service. No! How could I fall for this? I don't believe the truth. The wounded one is she How is that even possible? Should not waste time in regret, but rather strengthen our defenses. Yes. Enough! I'm going to put an end to this now. You show them, Lord Soren. Soren says as he does nothing. Well, I suppose he's doing something at the base camp. He's dancing, just constantly. Rude. Brainwashed out of Kazu. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work on Muso officers. Get some bull cuts on our side. Munishige is a fine man, but I just wish he would apply himself more to converting people to Zaydism. Since friendly fire does work on your archers, you can like summon them, but then basically just immediately take Life them out. Easy, Even when you're not really trying to. I feel at peace. I can't fight against him. Brainwash is probably the most boring R2. The ability of their troops cannot be compared. Because I almost never really notice it doing anything. I wish to spread your word to the sinners. You want to really avoid using the end of Mozanari's S string because he has a really long cooldown after doing the attack. Or if you're just mashing square, he'll just, his combo will actually run out. Even if I must endure this pain, I refuse to set foot. So you generally want to end on the hold face. square. He's so loyal. Which does this blender attack. I can't stop trying. I am sincerely honored to be in the same force as you. Great. That's exactly what we need. Another castle claim for Zavis. Apparently you can't take over uh, certain enemy types like these shield guys. So placing a decoy does help give you time to set up like the R1 stuff. It's Murushige of the West. Oh yeah, and if you hold R1, you can suck at me then. Trying to spawn it inside the base. I thought I was holding up pretty well. But I guess it won't let you do that. Yeah, you can knock it around, sort of use it as a roaming projectile. Been so long. Your attention! I built this from a very powerful cannon. So fear it! I call it the great and honorable head of Zombie! In the name of Zavism, let's go Zombie! Such a grotesque statue. It cannot stand. I must destroy it. He just hates this face. You are the warriors who battled the Since I found Zavism, I've really gotten myself together. Oh glorious son, bless our army. I beg you, my lord, allow me to shoulder the weight of this confrontation. It is a sin to a Man, using hero time when he zombie. shoots out those uh, those missiles really fucks him up. Because it counts as deflecting it. 
And I guess in hero time, deflections deal a lot of damage. Wonder if Motonari can suck Sorn. Get away from my lord. Well, he ran away. <laughs> Munushige yells in impotence. Can't do anything across the bridge. Don't you dare come near me! I shall tell Pontiff Zobi. Now it seems to have no effect on him. Goodbye. Who are you? Are you? Are you God? Suffer through. It's barely a scratch. You'll be fine. I'll soak the earth with the blood of subordinates. Then I'll hunt down the remaining strays. It's the ground littered with its own troops. Motonari defeated his gay boss. <laughs> yeah, Motonari is not allowed to be happy. He can't show any emotion. Stream is cancelled. <laughs> yeah. For a second, I thought Tsuruhime was about to take out Ieyasu. Well, how are things proceeding? As we said in our pledge, nothing will shake our resolve. I haven't forgot our pledge. I was just marveling at the success of my friend. All of this nation shall be under Mitsunari, except Chugoku, which shall be yours. If anyone, you should worry about yourself, not me. Oh, I have plenty of worry to share between the both of us. Come now, I was only joking. This is when you're supposed to laugh. <sighs> Sorry, but your jokes do not amuse me. All right, stranger of brainwash. Yeah, I think Ray is my preferred R2 for him. Which is essentially just using the solar nexus with his own weapon. Let's see. Want to say there's a cutscene from Otachika. Yeah, we'll do that one. Please, Yoshitsugu, keep one thing in mind. I care nothing for the fate of others so long as the Mori clan is kept stable and secure. And so it shall be, Motonari. I appreciate your candor. One cannot trust people who flatter needlessly. Anyway, I wish you the best of luck in your battle. I love Yoshitsugu said that, when he's the one that flatters people <laughs> needlessly. He does it for Surihime, and he's kind of been doing it for Motonari. <laughs> solar Nexus, more like Solar Plexus. The joke was so good you had to repeat it, huh? <laughs> First Ieyasu, and now you? <laughs> you lot must really despise me. <laughs> it's remarkable how quickly you recovered. It's also a shame you won't stay that way. Go ahead and have them shoot from the bridge, or from the cliff. See if I can get it stuck inside this, uh, these barriers. I should deal a lot of damage to it. 
Yeah, there it goes. It has so many legs. One, two, three. Ah, it stepped on me! All right, you don't need to dodge the cannon in the first place. The Cynics can't shoot. Damn it. After all the time and money we put into that. Oh well. At least it was only a prototype. Men, where's the other one? Sorry, but ever since I saw this place, I knew I just had to have it. Now this is worthy of Mota Chica's crew. Raise the sails and set course. We're ready like how Motonari spins when he jumps. He doesn't need to do that, but he does. I believe the decoy explodes faster if you attack it as well, yeah. So you can let it detonate on its own, you can use taunt to detonate it from afar, or you can just attack it. As they say, it's better to destroy than to be destroyed. Ah, the sun upon me. Shoulders back, heads high, men! There's no excuse for this! Alright, I don't have brainwash. Oh, this is the ray attack. I can't really control it right now. I was gonna try and brainwash Nobuchika, because that would have been evil. Let's just light him up instead. Yeah, if you hold down R2, you can aim it. Let it go, then he won't. Is there no vigorous desire to reign victorious? If you don't hold down R2, it just shoots in a straight line forward. Look at Nari has some serious ups. You are the warriors who battle beneath the sun. Too bad they had to go against the sea devil. No one can defeat him. Oh, glorious sun, bless our army. Wait, they are robbing us? You can't rob a pirate! It's meant to be the other way around! Watanari would absolutely be a sun bro. In Dark Souls. <laughs> I'll wrap a noose about your neck and dangle you from the yard arm as an example! Which doesn't really fit his personality at all unless he's in, like, zombie mode. Can we find a shark? He'd be a sun bro, but he would just have the look, but actually he'd be invading all the time. Your blood tide has washed our fallen brothers out to sea. Back to their homes beneath the waves. How much damage this deals on the base, Captain? Having people hate Honestly, he doesn't deal much damage. Nothing new to me. The damage output from that was so low, I may as well just do physical attacks. The only thing that interests me is the prosperity of the Mori clan. We've already gotten used to fighting on land. The sun smiles upon me. This is it. This is it. If <laughs> you talk like you've played Dark Souls, possibly. <laughs> I may have played all of them multiple times. Ow. As you can tell by how good I am at dodging traps. Only the devil can calm the waters like this. Only our captain. We got our first path in the salty seawater, and that's what made us as tough as we are. Hmm. 
Motonari praised the sun before Dark Souls made it trendy. He did, honestly. <laughs> the beam on a barrier. Oh right, that uh, like magnifies it, doesn't it? I can regret this later. Right now I need to focus. Yeah. I do like that you can do that. And it doesn't hurt Mothenari at all. He can bathe in the sun just fine. I don't play Motonari that much. He does have some fun gimmicks, but uh, I just prefer more standard characters, I guess. This is it. Asking you for Spoken is a bad game? I have no idea, I haven't played it. I haven't heard anything good about it. That was a decoy. Spit out through these. Oh, nice. He just walked right into it. What does the Mo in Motichika stand for, men? Mo's the mining captain. You never have enough. Oh, uh, the barriers aren't hitting it because it's between his legs. Damn it. Oh, no, they were good. The barriers may not have their hitboxes activated. If the solar ray is going through them. Ow! That charge deals so much damage. Yeah, the studio that made Forspoken went out of business. I got shut down. Or, like, it was like a division underneath Square Enix, I think. Luminous something. It was the guys that also did Final Fantasy XV, which sucked. I tried to play XV. I could not last more than, like, two hours into it. It's so slow. So freaking tedious. I beat Final Fantasy XII, but I couldn't get two hours into that game. What's in the past cannot be undone. And there is no remedying that. Hmm. There is one thing that will take my mind off that tragedy. Get ready! Show me what you can do, and drive away the memories that haunt me! If this is going to take a while, let's just settle it later. I have more important people to deal with. <laughs> Makes no difference. You are nothing more than a trivial distraction to me. See if I can get him inside of it. Then quit wasting time. We both have other priorities, so let's get on with it. Nah, he keeps getting knocked aside. 
I knocked him up the ledge. Planning to save my strength for him, but that won't keep me from beating you first. How about you, Motenari? Ah, yes. Exactly as I predicted. But wait a minute. What the hell are you talking about? You will find the answer to that, but only in your death. I think your archer will actually stun the enemy. These waters are ours, men. Ours for the taking. The sunlight banishes the darkness of night into day. So you are but a pestering flea, an inconvenience at best. In its red for the weight of its worth. I apologize. But these words come too light. And it's too late. Wow, Motonari just kills him. Completely forgoes a plan. <laughs> he and Yoshitsugu had for him. It's barely a scratch. You'll be fine. I'll soak the earth with the blood of subordinates. Leave 12 out of this. 12 is a bad game. Then I'll hunt down the remaining strays. I finished it, but I didn't like it. Thirteen I actually enjoy playing more, but uh Oh, we're still having this cutscene? But it's not relevant. Moto Chica's dead. I must get this to Ieyasu. Must keep going. Where are you going? What do you have there? No, no please don't. This is from our captain to, to Ieyasu. Is that so? Yeah, normally that, that cutscene plays when you do the stage as Yoshitsugu. Kind of pointless for it to play for Motonari when he kills Motochika. <laughs> yeah, no, Final Fantasy XIII definitely has some problems, but uh, I do actually kind of enjoy playing it. It, like, the hardest part to get through in that game is when you're stuck as Saz and, uh, what was the girl? I don't remember the girl's name. You're stuck playing as Saz and the girl, and neither of them were really good against the enemies you were fighting, so that made a really tough portion of that game. sent an emissary to Ieyasu. He was bearing a rather unpleasant letter. I see. And I trust you took care of What him. does it matter? Crushed him like an insect beneath my heel. I'm quite sure you would have enjoyed it. Yoshitsuku, your sense of humor is growing on me. <laughs> They're so evil. Yoshiaki just killed Luigi. There is no movement from the eastern Oh army. shit, Yoshiaki's None trying to resurrect spot. Nobunaga. But frankly, I am more concerned about Mitsunari. That man can be quite annoying at times. Is that so? Preparations for our attack on Ieyasu must be taken quite seriously. You understand this, but I do not get the same impression from him. Any suggestions, Motonari? It sounds like a simple fix. Have him replaced. Absurd. That's impossible at this point. Then I suppose you shall remain in a bind. Oh, we have to fight Yoshihiro? Boring. The where is... Okay, Hideaki's still on the map, good. There's a cutscene for Hideaki, and we're definitely gonna see that. Alright, what's this other R2? Crap. It's a ring of light that crushes enemies. Charge up, expand a ring, increase length. Okay, yeah, I remember that. 
I think Trap is okay. Oh yeah, Vanilla, that was a girl's name. I shall be waiting for you there. Best of luck in your battle. There. <laughs> Nondescript. Can't imagine Sam Regal playing an evil person. Well, he is. And Drury's voiced a lot of evil characters in his career. This sea is vast and deep. Do you think you'll be able to find me in it? Hey, Mothadari has a lot of stages you can't rush. This is the Sulfur Spring. Now, Shimasu the Beast, where are you hiding? I consider this one of the more boring stages in the game. It's one you can't rush without getting lucky. I am the beast who wreaks havoc! What's wrong? It is fine. Let them come! By the thousands, let them come! Damn it, too far away. Get in it. Ah. Gather round so I can take all of you out with one swing of my saw. Alright, let's charge it up. Yeah, it's much bigger with two charges, and now he's not inside of it. Alright. Because he decided to attack Yoshitsugu for some reason. By the time you see us coming, it already might as well be over. You now see what the you let your guard down too soon. It only goes to show how much you have yet to learn. Is it time for me to acknowledge the potential of these future kings? What? I don't believe there's any way to tell. Where Yoshihiro uh, Yoshihiro hides himself. Yoshihiro's forces can do when they put their backs into it. I see. Is that supposed to entice Lord Yoshihiro into battle? Is there no vigorous desire to reign victorious? See if we can trap the base. I don't think you realize how much of a mistake you made. Yeah, the aim was a bit off. This is not good. His plans have been completed. Oh, that's a sharp nose you have. Archer. <laughs> It seems our plans are working out perfect. So, by the time you see us coming, it already might as well be over. Well, do There's nothing better than a one-on-one. -on -one. You now see what the South is made of. Do not disturb me. I am busy. I can hide myself as well as I can swing a sword. Yeah, the color palette of Imikawi isn't oh, great either. Must occupy the camp before they do. I find it annoying just because you're just chasing general. after Yoshi Hero. And there are tigers, which are kind of a pain to fight. Well, it really depends on the character. Also, he's got a bunch of these cannoneers around. And the water tries to kill you. What are you looking at? Don't make me waste my time on something so insignificant. I'm so sorry! His troops are just terrified of him. Proud 
Zack is one of your favorite Final Fantasy characters. He's okay. I've actually been playing Crisis Core lately. Uh, specifically the PS5 version, Crisis Core Reunion. I do wish they gave it like the full Final Fantasy VII remake treatment, in that they actually remade it. This is basically just an enhanced uh, PSP game, and boy it shows. Oh, Yuffie's the best seven character, by the way. This isn't debatable, but you're free to uh, talk about it in chat. It has been a long time since I had this much fun. What are you waiting for? Let's fight! It's not like you to fight this poorly. This is it. I think I'll ignore the rest of the base and just head straight towards Jushi Hero. You have a job to do, so see it through. Of course. The stage is apparently mandatory for Motonari 2, but it doesn't have any lines for it. I wonder, who will be the one to succeed Shumazu the Beast? It takes a lot of courage to risk your life on the field, and I thank you for doing so with me. Mauled by a tiger. Well, at least it's not my mom. I am not interested in unification. The Mori clan will rise again to glory. Three hundred years from now. A beast. One with whom I doubt I can reason. I am the straw that will break your back. This is it. That's a weird way to threaten someone. It's like saying, I don't amount to much, but it's enough. So placing a barrier will expand the time of the ring. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's shrinking slower. Oh! <laughs> it also just resets it. Alright, that's actually really good. Yeah, I had no idea it did that. The game does not tell you that at all. <laughs> He doesn't. You will not see my sword fly. 
Okay, well it didn't work that time. Take a good long look because I am what you shall be. Damn it. Honestly, it, it seems a bit finicky to set up in actual combat. I can see why I never figured that out before. Because why would you bother trying all that setup when you can just press square and attack? He lives for the fight, and he'll die for the future. That is what compels the beast. The sun smiles upon me. I'll give you this chance, and this chance only, to retreat. Stand back! Haven't you any respect for your elders? Die for all I care. You interest me not. But the Nari does not respect his elders. Through this fight and on to the end! Yes! Let them come! By the thousands, let them come! This is it. My own. You'll never be able to conquer this country unless you can first take me out. I guess he let. Does she hero live? Weird. Suffer through. It's barely a scratch. You'll be fine. I'll soak the earth with the blood of subordinates. Then I'll hunt down the remaining strays. Oh, <laughs> we have another Motinari's wife in the chat. Motonari's waifu, okay. <laughs> now they're bonding. <laughs> Motonari, the ladies, man. At last, we have secured our rear flank. Excellent. Your attention, everyone! The time has come to join with Mitsunari's forces. Let us proceed east! Onward! Yes, my lordship! Advance eastward! Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna bother alternating his R2. I think I'm just gonna stick with Ray. Okay, both of these stages have cutscenes. Uh, I don't know if they're both mandatory or not, but I definitely want to see the Siege of Karasu Castle cutscene. Since it's on my way, perhaps I should see what Hideaki is up to. Oh, Ujimasa showed up in the chat just as soon as he was taken out by someone on the map. <laughs> Unfortunate timing. Oh, it's... Uh, it's you! Uh, I mean, Lord Motonari! What are you doing? Have your men stand down. Do you buy tapioca or chocolate pudding? Chocolate pudding, obviously. No response from Tenkai. <laughs> Please, Hideaki. There's no need to be melodramatic. Tenkai, stay close behind me. I'm over here. <laughs> huh? Tenkai, where are you? Oh no. I've lost sight of Hideaki. Poor, poor Hideaki. <laughs> Go after Tenkai instead. Nah. 
Normally I would love to. It's funny, Hideyaki is a pain. I could barely open that gate! How do they manage to break through it? I do believe uh, characters that have uh, dialogue with Hideyaki do actually have dialogue for Tenkai to usually go after them. Like, I recall going after him, uh... This is it. Once for uh, Mitsunari. And he essentially called him the brains of the operation. That Hideaki wasn't actually a concern. Oh, oh, oh no, Lord Motonari! A, a, a thousand apologies! Please! Please forgive me! I swear I will not fail you again! Hideaki, what was your role in this? What? My role? You heard me. Oh, I, 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 I don't know what, what, my role. It appears you have a rather poor memory. No matter, I shall wait until it comes to you. I turn! I'm sorry, Mochinari! I don't know what you've heard, but I swear I have no intention of betraying you! Hideaki, look into my eyes and be free. Yo, Hideaki can damage his own troops. He loves to do this attack, and it's so annoying that he's just essentially running away the whole time. Dozens of hands yearn to kill you. Oh, he would go behind a wall, wouldn't he? But yeah, I really wanted to see the cutscene with Hideaki just because of the raw abuse he suffers from Mutsunari. So like, at least Mutsunari didn't actually hit him. Like, he hit the pot on his back and just scared him. Mutsunari just beats the shit out of him and steps on him. Halt your attack immediately. My dear Hideaki. Does he really scare you that much? They seem to be doing what they do best, lighting fire. I guess they've got someone with a brain on their side as well. Are you listening? Protect the headquarters! And me! What should I do? Oh, just activating the solar nexus will send your allies flying. I do like that you can bring the ray back to like protect you if enemies start to get close to you while you're blasting them. I don't either. This is it. What? Don't make me have to punish you. Trying to deflect those, but they came at me too slow. Then step aside, and let me give your orders. Listen to me, man. That intruder is a sworn enemy of Hideaki. What? No! I never said anything like that! 
Tin Kai just making everything worse. Monster. You're kind of despicable. Hand me the head of our opponent, so I can show my respect properly. Sir! It was because of Lord Motonari's genius that we got this far. See if I can line this up. Okay, too much going on. Can't set it up. I'm just getting beat up. Trying to set up his traps. Oh, glorious sun, bless our army. This is it. It looks like that's it. At least the journey here was entertaining. As the instances like that Just are kind of why I don't really me. like playing as Motonari that much. It's like anything that's like difficult enough you would want to go through the effort of setting up the traps for. You're generally gonna get the shit kicked out of you before you actually manage to get them set up. We must clear our path for those who Where you'd be playing more effectively if you just played them like a normal character, attacking and blocking and dodging. As that you've taken my headquarters, would you also like my head on a silver platter? Took a camp. I don't know if they need to take back all the camps before Hideaki will retreat. Or if just one will do it. I hate horses. I hate guns. I hate bows and arrows. I love hot pots. I hate swords. You can't keep track of all the stuff that's going on in the world. Don't give up, men. It's only one camp. Where'd he go? Ah, he goes back, okay. Yes! Now I can eat the hot pot the way it's meant to be eaten! Now I gotta take more bases again. Hmm. I wonder what we could do to lure him back here. There must be something. This is it. This is why whenever you're playing the stage and you're not gonna get a cutscene for it, it's always better just go to Tenkai route. Hideaki hears of this. He'll be very disappointed. You just got a boss fight then. We've survived worse Didn't have to deal with this nonsense. Just pick a direction, eh? Yes, go there. All right. Yes, sir. Protect us. Offer us your guidance. I do wish Motonari had a proper launching attack, so that you could, like, you know, use his air attacks. Got to admit, I'm terrified, yet also strangely excited. Like, his whole square sort of ends on a launching attack. 
Doesn't there, it doesn't really feel like it's meant to be a launching attack. It's hard to follow up on it. Summon your courage, man, and forward march. Uh, and he reappears on the other side. That's annoying. Uh, Hideaki sucks. He deserves every bit of abuse he gets. Yeah, you do get more ESP from attacking Hideaki. But all my characters are at level 99, I have all the accessories, I have all the equipment I would ever need, so... <laughs> Why are there so many menacing people? You are kind of surrounded by the Midiaki. We have finished Ah, uh, this running son of a bitch. Is it just me, or does everyone seem to have a short temper? No, it's just you're fucking annoying. Yeah. Please show me mercy. I promise I will do my duty from here on. <laughs> I suppose this is it. I'd love to stay and die for a second time, but I've got some business that needs taking care of. Farewell. I'll see you soon. I forgot we get that gutsing with didn't guy, even if we don't go down his path. Seldom has a short temper. It depends. <laughs> Some things I'm very patient about. Hideaki and Tsuruhime are not one of them. And if called upon, you will give your life for the cause. Yes, my lord. I'm so sorry. Oh, we have a last stand stage. Lame. Upon us! Where did they come from? We must boldly defend with all our might. I have discovered the truth of what motivates you. Last sand stages are basically just time wasters for everyone except Kanbe. Who actually has a unique one. And just don't do it. It's mandatory. Shut up. You know that. Con base revenge. <laughs> Forget about the soldiers. Aim for the headquarters. No foreign foot must be allowed to trespass into our indispensable headquarters. Yes, sir! No foreigners allowed. What are you doing? Pull yourself together. No! If we lower the bridge, we won't be able to stop them. If an occupation chief is at one of your bases here, you kind of just gotta hope that uh, the AI is the AI base commander is doing well. 
and the Occupation Chief isn't like winding up his attack, it's gonna drain all of his HP as you're trying to approach them. Not even the slightest chance I would stop fighting. Here we go. Take that again immediately. I don't know where he's. All right, fine, go for that one. I've never seen them ignore the main two and go for one out of their way. Time to hang back and wreck up kills in the stage. Down. Just give me a report on our current situation. All right, everyone. I'll be taking over from here. I got it. and charge! This is it. They're nothing more than leftovers. I'll take care of them. You are the warriors who battle beneath the sun. At least the bases are lasting longer for Mot Motonari than they were for Kanbei. If the left one so much as gets breathed on, it's going to fall. Squad leaders don't really do much. I don't think they even go after faces. Okay, luckily he didn't do his big wind-up attack. Okay, managed to keep them both safe that time.
Who's even invading him? It's just a non-specified force. Not really using Ray. Maybe, uh... I'd use Brainwash, but I, I just don't feel like it ever does anything. I guess I'll stick with Trap. Because I feel like I could at least send out the trap and then do other stuff. I have discovered the truth of what motivates you. Dominaga's Ambition is a good game. I thought it was boring. <laughs> I'm just not into those types of games. Same for Romance into Three Kingdoms. Can't get into them. This land of fantasy, this land of wind and sand, is mine. The desert hides me from my enemies. It's my greatest weapon. Now be gone before I use it on you. Where's Amago's dear boyfriend? Next game. He's in the next game. I am the straw that will break your back. I will beat you to the ground and cast your body into a river. It is time to win. <laughs> Pocket sand. <laughs> All right, let's see just how good you. I would love if for every one of his sand attacks, he just yelled that. <laughs> Instead of yelling sandstorm, he yells pocket sand. <laughs> Do you think you are really so clever that I am not capable of finding you? Well done. Now we can move on and seize the rest. Give up now. Our future will be empty. We're spicing Goku Bob for a bridge where Haruhito Amago is just Dale Gribble. <laughs> I'd love that. Uh, I bet only a fraction of you have even heard of King of the Hill. The show, not the game type. Is there no vigorous desire to reign victorious? There's nothing better than a one on one. We have finished our work here. A person only hesitates if they doubt their motives. Do you really seek justice? Arohisi assumes a lot about the people he's fighting. We just straight up vanished that time. I think Redhead was saying, uh, oh, he's, uh, apparently Motonari is like a historical enemy or whatever that means. Yeah, he's not really addressed in Basara. I don't think he's really addressed in Samurai Warriors either. Probably because he doesn't do anything. If the only thing you're known for is fighting someone else, then you don't really stand out that much, do you? I 
guess Super Mario Warriors 5 showed that a little bit. But didn't even have the leader be playable. I'm ashamed to have lost one of our camps to someone of such low caliber. This is it. They say you are a clever and well-respected general. This defeat must stand. There is no winning or losing, no right or wrong. There is only chaos. There is only death. The opponents I could be facing, I have to fight you. No, 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 you first. I don't want to go. You go. Go and sweep our enemies aside. I'm sorry. Oh, he's basically has the same mechanic as just your hero, where you just hides everywhere until you manage to hunt them down. And the stage can end a lot quicker if you manage to find them quickly. Bless our army. Light the fire. Let people know that this is now my territory. I'm sure you've heard this before, but your swordsmanship is impressive. Can you really call this weapon like using this weapon swordsmanship? Where does that go to? The center? Okay. That's life, right? Oh, he heals while he's in the ground, too. What's wrong with solitude? It's better than dreaming beneath the sands. I can see into the horizon. I see a lot of determination in those eyes. Ow, that hurt a lot. Oh, glorious sun, die for all I care. You interest gonna run away again, aren't you? Okay. Do not disturb me. I am busy. I do really hate when enemies just jump away and don't even try to fight you. When all said and done. Jugoku is still the most peaceful place I know. If you couldn't tell from my rants about Tsuruhime and Hideaki by now. I was wrong to underestimate you. I don't know why random generic officers will do that occasionally. even retreat anywhere since the hidden base is you know still hidden I hate arrogant egotistical people who ramble on and on with their obnoxious opinions I will beat you to the ground and cast your body into a river Whatever. Just get the hell away from me and out of my sight. Dozens of hands yearn to kill you. A person only hesitates if they doubt their motives. Do you really seek justice? You better shut your mouth, or I'll shut it for you. Just return to my dreams. Oh, he lets them live. Solid. 
Yeah, he's not very impressive riding a horse. Suffer through. It's barely a scratch. You'll be fine. I'll soak the earth with the blood of subordinates. Then I'll hunt down the remaining strays. How are you? Not unwell. What of the pact with Motochika? Nothing to fear. Everything is as planned. For me as well, my friend. All the pawns are in place, and they are all positioned to strike. The Oracle, the Demon Queen, Kanbei, and if I were to include the Sea Devil... It's quite an impressive menagerie. Such wild beasts. Be delicate and take care when taming them. Be delicate, you say? Who is Tenkai who sides with Hideaki? I feel this man poses a dangerous threat. If we're not careful, he could destroy us all. It's unlike you to fear such a thing. I'll take my leave. Safe travels, my friend. What's well, an just disappears like he's Batman at the end there? Okay, that was actually Haruhisa's death line. Okay. So he does kill him. Which, yeah, that whole last cut scene really doesn't make sense when <laughs> Moto Chica is dead. Oichi has been taken out. Like, I think everyone that uh, Yoshitsugu mentioned, aside from Hideaki, has been taken out. I think Yoshihiro took out Kanbei way earlier on. <laughs> oh, and the Oracle, Surahime, went and joined Ieyasu, so I don't know what his plan was for her. Things appear to be secure so far. Men, fall in! Make preparations for battle! Mitsunari's forces and ours will soon be won! Understood, my lord! We will be ready! It took you long enough. Have you finally completed your task? My end is done. It took over half the well. country, yes. Then the time has come for us to head eastward. We may have different aims. But we will achieve them together. Before we do, Yoshitsugu, may I ask you one thing? What is your goal in all of this? It is as I said. I want justice, and to secure Mitsunari's position. I've heard that lie so often it no longer has any effect. Don't look at me that way. You of all people should understand. If we return alive, I shall reveal my true motivations. <laughs> Nothing but a coin plan, but now we have desert. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't think it really matters which of these we do. The Nari might have lines with Magawichi. If nothing else, I can just rush Magawichi in this stage quickly. Tell me, Motonari, is it wise of me to take the things you say at face value? I've never trusted you in the past, so why should now be any different? To doubt me is idiocy. I suggest you spend less time pondering such useless questions and begin your eastward advance. 
Hold your tongues, both of you. Do not forget that Ieyasu awaits. This is no time for idle chatter. Fine. I'll forgive your rude remarks, for Yoshitsugo's sake. But the next time that tongue offends me, I take it. You should heed your own warning. Otonari and Mitsunari just do not mix well together. I think Yoshitsugu will mention that at some point. Possibly during his route. Lily has a line that's like, like oil and water. Let the bell toll for the proud yeah. Psycho faction! Soon you will know the superior strength we possess! A caged bird should by right have its wings clipped. I apologize on his behalf. He is youthful and can, at times, be rather brash. Then again, you're not that different. This is it. <laughs> I'm gonna prioritize speed here and just go straight for Magoichi. Explain things to Mitsunari. You know, he really is not as disagreeable as he seems. And the ellipsis of doubt. Don't come any closer! Stay back! Spread our name the world over! <gasps> All troops, advance! Charge! Attack! What? How on earth did they discover our secret camp? Oh, if you want to know, I took a right. And that was basically it. Mozanari's just like, they ambushed us, just as I planned. What is it that you fit? Regardless of what others say or think, you must always stand by your beliefs. To be free is a luxury, but one no better than the responsibility of command. You think you're better than you are the warriors who battle beneath the sun. All this power, it is the wrath of the Psycho Faction. For every man that falls, we become more vulnerable. For this situation will only benefit us. I guarantee it. To face us is to face true terror. First, I will strip you of your honor. I am not interested in unification. The Mori clan will rise again to glory 300 years from now. Right, that wasn't too bad, despite the buffs she had for her bases. But we will return for the victory. Let's Magoichi live. Weird. Not expecting that one. Suffer through.
He has to cut down some trees, or I guess punch down some trees. Then eight to she, eh? <laughs> and murders Yoshiaki, wow. What a Yoshiaki move to let Yoshiaki force uh, Toshie to side with him and then kill Yoshiaki. Now Toshie will never know. <laughs> He'll never find his wife. At long last, this day has finally come. Mitsunari has waited patiently for this moment. As have I. Your excitement does not interest me in the least. As I've said, I couldn't care less who will ultimately rule this country. My only desire is for Chugoku to remain at peace. A man's purpose can be easily swayed. Are you certain you haven't developed any further ambitions? Yeah, we could just go and fight the Demon King. We're not, but we could. See, this is the Hideaki version, isn't it? Yeah. Motonari, there is something I wish to share with you. Though I realize I rarely show it, my respect for you runs deep. Oh, and what brings this about, Yoshitsugu? Have you hit your head on something? You have to remind me to tell you my true motivations, if we make it back alive. And please, Motonari, you mustn't die. It would be quite a shame to lose such an ally, my good friend. <laughs> Even if everyone else falls, I will survive. You can count on it. That is good to hear. May you fare well in battle. And you as well. Ah, Motonari actually showed some genuine concern for Yoshitsugu at the end there. I do like that Yoshitsugu actually does care about the people that are close to him. Like, he really does consider Motonari a friend. <laughs> Avenge Yoshiaki. I guess this is a vengeance the stream. This battle depends on Hideaki. Our vengeance battle. Join us, Hideaki. There is nothing to fear! I must go. Ieyasu is calling me. Sonari is done. Uh, oh, I don't know. I just can't decide. <laughs> uh, maybe it's not such a good idea to side with the Eastern Army. Thing to do siding with the Eastern Army. You do understand what I am telling you, right, Motomari? Do not worry. I understand perfectly. I don't. You started the conversation with that. You live for the fight. We have that in common. How 
Oh, this is why Magoichi lives. Because she has to show up for this stage. Yeah, fair enough. What's the matter? I'm just getting warmed up. Three, two, one. That's some of the new stages of Mitsunari needs. Much faster taking bases than Fotonari is. Then allow me to go with you. Together we will cast Ieyasu into despair. All the people I hate are here. All two of them? Yeah, sure. <laughs> the ninjas popping up from the ground. How do you hide in the ground like that and then jump up from it so easily? to protect our honor. We must fight to protect the righteous. It's true. The paths we walk are very different. But we always do our best. <laughs> said and done. There is only one thing I want. You are the warriors who bat- You don't go back, you'll make me very angry! Mugly told me everything. How dare you two deceive me! There are no limits to what I can do. Your loose tongue will be the death of you, Mugly. Don't be angry. I've done nothing but follow your example. I have not fallen yet. My hobbies, I uh like to read. No one asked to read me. I feel my fingers tremble. Is this weakness? Hideaki's already started moving again. The life of a mercenary is not an easy one. Even though our allies can be enemies. It's okay if we lose. There will always be another battle to fight. Everyone has such a short temper. And I'm moving further back, too. We might make it to Ieyasu this time. It is unwise to pass judgment by appearances alone. Very unwise. Don't think I'll always do it on top. So, what do you think? How was I? The Nari's low damage output is really showing here. The sunlight banishes all this power. It is the wrath of the Psycho faction. 
I'll be all right. He'll come and save me. That is a pretty sad death line. Forces with Ieyasu. I loathe you, Ieyasu. I loathe that fortune smiles upon you. I despise you, Ieyasu. I hate how people look to you as if you were the sun in the sky. What are these men? <laughs> At least we got to see a different cutscene for Hideaki actually joining out with Iyasu. And now, I don't have to bother actually defeating him. Fight Hideaki, Iyasu, and Tadakatsu all at once, though. Mosonari, Mori. Mm. You are late, my friend. It is up to you now. I only wish one thing, that they suffer as well. Motonari, find this man and make his existence miserable. Why should I care? <laughs> what? I told you. Only one desire motivates me. Peace for the Mori clan. The fate of anyone else is completely insignificant for me. <laughs> you are pitiful, Yoshitsuku. <laughs> Such cruelty from my good friend. Motonari. How can you be this way? I do like how Iyasu gets angry for Yoshitsugu here. I thought you and Yoshitsugu were friends! We are, but why would it make a difference? It is time to win! Even though you're using each other, it doesn't change the fact that you share a bond! Why would you abandon one of your closest comrades? You still fail to understand. The fate of others does not concern me. Not even those closest to me. May my so your entire life will just be by yourself? Absolutely. For someone who places value on allegiances, this may be hard to comprehend. It would be best if you put it out of your head. Your spirit and mind travel along two very different paths. This is it. It is all right to feel pain. It is unforgivable to feel no sympathy. Oh nice, we got Iyasu bouncing. Yeah. He broke out of it though. Like a child of Mikawa, he grows beyond expectation. 
May we cherish our allies and march forth to unification! I didn't even try to kill Hideaki there. He died on his own. It is our home, and we must defend it! Every command he speaks is an order to a hundred thousand men. You are the warriors who battle beneath the sun. I'll neither run nor hide. I will stand my ground. Oh, glorious sun, bless our army. I shall fight you all until you've had your fill. Just need to stop blocking once. There we go. This is it. I pray that this world will one day know peace. Shugoku is now in order. Oh, glorious sun. <laughs> Motonari. Congratulations. You certainly fooled me. <laughs> Now listen, I will only say this once. It is my own doing, for having forged a pact with such a monster. I vow to make amends within three years' time. Now what? Do you think it appropriate to bid farewell? That's really all you have to say. <laughs> May you live long with the weight of your betrayal always upon you. I shall carry that burden well. So Yoshitsugu curses Motonari, and he just walks it off. It's like, so anyways, whatever. <laughs> The last thing Yoshitsugu did, it was pointless. <laughs> and I don't know what that line about making amends in three years' time, I don't know what that's about. He, he just kind of says that. I get the feeling the translator didn't know what the hell it was about either. <laughs> Though I do like that even Yoshitsugu called Motonari a monster. I shall now become the one and only for all eternity. And even speedrunning some stages does end up being like about two hours. Yeah, I'll still do the blue path. I'll just knock it out. And final, have Hideaki as a bodyguard. I don't know why you want that.
He meant his restless spirit will haunt Motonari and kill him in three years. Okay. Does Motonari, like, die three years after Sakigahara or something? Is that just something you're supposed to infer? Let me make... There are two steps that must be taken. The first, to supplement our rear defenses, leaving us secure enough to advance east. The second, to call a military truce with Motochika Chosokabe. But the question remains, which to accomplish first? All right, let's go make nice with Motochika. And yes, we'll change Hideaki to our ally. Actually, I feel it'd be kind of appropriate to have Motochika as our ally. Although we don't actually fight alongside him. And I guess I'll use his worst alternate outfit just because. I have decided. Let us send Motochika a letter. This is exactly how it should read. News of the carnage in Shikoku has greatly disheartened me. Ieyasu Tokugawa was the author of the tragedy, as I'm sure you are aware. Nor did the bloodshed stop there. Our land too was assailed, from behind in true coward's fashion. So, Ieyasu was responsible for this. Continue. I wish to hear what else it says. Yes, Captain. It continues like this. As the rightful guardian of the Seto Sea, I cannot allow the actions of Ieyasu's to go unpunished. With that in mind, I propose we momentarily set aside our own quarrel. Together, we may crush the villain who has so wronged us both. That lying snake. How could Ieyasu have changed so much? It matters not. Motonari! I accept your proposal, and will gladly question Ieyasu about his dubious actions. Things appear to be unfolding splendidly. The fool is oblivious to the fact that it was actually Konbei who attacked Shikoku. And he has no idea the order came from us. The way you turn them against each other will play right into our hand. What a clever plot. With a simple tug of a few strings, we need no longer worry about either of them. Careful, Yoshitsugu. That mouth of yours will get you killed. Don't be paranoid. I'm not the sort of villain who carelessly divulges his evil plots. Soon I shall be in control of the Western Territory, and I will have left the North to you. <laughs> Okay, so I guess now we're just going far north. Let's see. Yeah, Motochika's still... I oh, know he's not still on the map. And that actually counted as taking him over. Yeah, you know what? Motochika bodyguard. Who even wants to see Hideaki in the in gameplay? I don't. Let's see. Oichi or... So she, uh, we'll go for Oiji. The first element of my plan begins. I am the only one who knows it. It is time to show what a real commander can do. Wait a 
minute. That's one of our soldiers! Who are you? Do you know who I am? Oh, I forgot uh, Botanari's hat also becomes more curly. I noticed his shoes. Didn't realize his hat fit. Even though his hat should stand out a lot more. Trying to threaten me into playing Hideaki next stream. Everywhere He's not go. playable, so that's I not gonna run. happen. If you try to run, I'll catch you. I won't rest until you're on your deathbed. I won't stop until I sleep in darkness. I looked into those black eyes, and I passed out. Denari rescuing his soldiers is so uncharacteristic. The chat just okay, keeps talking about son. bullying me. You can't bully me into playing Gotage on stream. I'm not gonna stream any games that are just strictly Japanese. Because that'll detract from the enjoyment for a lot of people. There is no winning or losing, no right or wrong. There is only chaos, there is only death. you to resurrect the Yoda clan! <laughs> yes! Yes! We'll make the Demon Queen the ruler of this world! It was a good fight. Let me sleep. Oh, somebody please let me to sleep. Resident Evil 4 remake? Uh, maybe when I can afford it. I do intend to play it. If I don't stream it, I'll at least record it. Her? 
Matsunaga walking stream. Yeah, I think Matsunaga is the only character that can actually walk. The yeah, you have to run as everyone else. You've been drinking the blood of your victims, haven't you? Vigorous desire to reign victorious? She keeps on reviving. This is a nightmare. My brother is dead. What do you mean by that? I don't want to listen. Please don't die, Demon Queen! We still haven't fulfilled our mission! You are the warriors who battle beneath the sun. What worth are those people? They matter less than pawns. Oh, glorious sun, bless our eyes. Yeah, both Nari are to deal like double damage to Oichi since he can't handle the light. And he is all about light. Sunlight, specifically. You are the last of Nobunaga's forces. Your very existence is a sin. <laughs> we serve our demon queen. Are just like you, and it makes sense as it's true. They're just like, ah, yes, the sun. Walked into this. This is your own fault. <laughs> I knew. I always knew that the hole in this heart could never be filled. If you can set out the double barrier and manage to get the enemy inside of it, they just get shredded. Suffer through. It's barely a scratch. You'll be fine. people want the original outfit. You really don't like this one, huh? Alright, fine. No variety. A lot of the alternate outfits in this game are kind of terrible.
Oh, Moto Chica is still on the map fighting. Okay. Hmm. Mitsunari seems to be doing quite well. And Moto Chica. They are both under my control now. Lord Motonari! Lord Yoshitsugu has sent this message. Moto Chica is communicating with Ieyasu. What shall we do? Tell him that I trust his judgment. Sir! Oh, Moto Chica's not with us. Fine, I'll give you guys your freaking Hideaki. Wait, where is he? Did I pass him? I did. And back to being green. The uh... Both of these battles take kind of long. I guess Yukimura is a quicker one. It matters not which one I choose. Ah, uh, you I shall suck. Defend this castle with the spirit of the tiger. Honor and loyalty don't die by the sword. Now leave. It takes like it takes like two seconds for his idle animation to just have him shout, "I'm scared." This isn't going to be easy. I don't think Motonari has like unique dialogue for most of the stages. I'll just blur out. I think they're all just kind of filler stages. Survived worse than this, like the reign of Toyotomi. Wait, the moat. Open the gate. Let the flood take them away. They won't stand a chance. You're really pushing to get on Takeda's bad side, huh? Man of our dojo. Get away. Hello. I'm curious if you're looking up a guide whenever you can list like uh what all characters can be unlocked as bodyguards. Because I don't know how you could remember that off the top of your head. <laughs> God damn it! Gates cost money, you know. I have all the bodyguards unlocked on this save file, so I don't really have to worry about it anymore, but I do remember having to replay, like, routes multiple times just to get all the bodyguards. There were a lot of times that, just to save time, I wouldn't even finish a route. I would just get the the bodyguard I needed and then move on to the next one. You are looking at a guide, okay. Hold your heads high, everyone! The Tiger of Kai is watching us! Is it that Google Doc? It's just been on the net for like ever. That's the one I use. 
Because it's a really reliable one, honestly. Why is everyone saying the ban must look good? I mean, that's up to my moderators. I know for a fact Muscle Kid hasn't done anything wrong, but okay, there it goes. <laughs> Expectations. I would keep them low if I were you. The Takeda clan and I can offer you nothing. I'm sorry, but you'd better leave. Because if you don't, I might get angry. I like how Kazan has to specify it wasn't him that did it. Because <laughs> he does it so often. Like, 90% of the mod abuse comes from him and him alone. He still casts a heavy shadow. Damn it. How are we going to take out those decoys? Well, look who came all the way down here just to see me. Mitsunari would have soon taken the West. So there is nothing for you to do but perish. Really? The West can be harsh, you know? Even for the Dark King. It is just as harsh here, and I assure you, I am no less ambitious nor capable than he. So I see. But you're wrong about one thing. You're not getting past me. Step aside. You are in my way. So he does actually have some dialogue. Nice. Someone could survive the rain of the Tony Clan. They resisted. That is reason enough to annihilate them. This is the main one. Focus on the battle, Sasuke. Do not concern yourself with me. Only one of us is traveling on the wrong path. Sorry, but I carry far too many responsibilities. Time to find a replacement, Yukimura. I shall rise again. But for now... Allow me to shed some tears. This is it. Within me is talking a spirit, entrusted to me to preserve his fate. In my blood, in my heart, in my soul, it defines who I am. It is my destiny to courageously protect. His legacy! So you sense the Takeda clan's weakness. You may be smart, but your wits do not impress me. Resist if you must. It will actually justify me not making the journey west. What are your intentions? Don't expect me to believe they have anything to do with Kai. Well, I can get inside the barrier. Do you not use your brain at all? I kind of forgot Hideaki is here. Who's gonna take the blame for this one? Before I can't even get close. I have finally come to understand the true meaning of battle. Ah, uh, there we go. Well, almost. He broke out of it. Damn it! I could have avoided this. See, while the double barrier thing is really Who's good, you or I? it's just sort of random if it's actually gonna get work or not. Oh, 
glorious. As if cloaked in shadow, the truth is hard to find. Is that the Tiger of Kai? Or am I seeing things? Die for all I care. You interest me not. Give me Takeda clan! Give me my lord! Suffer through. It's barely a scratch. You'll be fine. I'm so I like how <laughs> that outro sounds like he's talking to his dead troops, like, oh, it's just a scratch, it'll be fine. Oh, someone asked how you become a mod. Uh, I honestly don't know. It just kind of happens as far as I'm aware. What? You're telling me our emissary was... assassinated? It's true, Captain. More than likely, it was Ieyasu's forces. Ieyasu... Do you really wish to avoid confronting me so desperately? I will say it's not the Ranmaru praising, I don't give a shit about that. Oh, is Kenshin gonna take him out? Ah, no Yoshiaki stage. Unfortunate. Lord Motonari! An emissary from Mitsunari has arrived! The Western Front is struggling! They request reinforcements! As I expected, he has Motochika in the palm of his hand. But Shimazu the Beast and Muneshige will not go as quietly. How shall I respond, sir? Just tell him we are too busy. Sir! Supply with the acronym CBA. Do we go after Kenshin or Ujimasa? Ujimasa is going to be quicker. I have discovered the truth of what motivates you. God, my chatter just is just full of fanatics. Say one thing they don't like and you don't hear the end of it. They're coming! The first enemies we've faced since Hideyoshi. Even though our wounds are yet to heal, we will still fight. Oh, I forgot Ujimas is in the chat. Uh, you should run and hide, bro. The Hojo Clan Supreme Gate of Honor has been completed, and I highly doubt anyone will be able to get through it. This is a lot better than the last one. This is far easier than passing through the Shrine's gates. I don't know what shrine he's talking about, but okay. Aren't all chats like this? I don't know, I don't watch other streams. I will say this, Ranmaru is mid. At best. We must rebel. <laughs> no, 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 you 
And in the midst of all that, Kilgo is just like, hey, I'm unbanned. <laughs> just when we were finally getting settled in, you attack us. Uh oh, wait, it's okay. Calm down. This is not good. His plans have been completed. Lord Ujimasa is not a fool, and I will prove it. When it comes to loyalty, I am certain there is no other as faithful as me. The sun smiles upon you. <laughs> Rebel now before he kills me, says Ujimasa. Ah, damn it, I wasn't quick enough. Of course, Mozanari would be too slow to do the sneak attack. You idiot! Why did you open the supreme gate of honor? There is not even the slightest chance I would stop fighting. If I make myself go. As the warrior who defeated me, please remember my name. I am. Ranmar is one of the gamers of Slew Orgy. <laughs> I mean, you can say that for like the entire Warriors cast. Yes, and I suppose especially Goemon. I think I actually used him to kill Orochi during one of the screens I had. We lost him. We must you guys want to run Maru emote? Uh, he has such a boring face, though. Nothing more than left of. I'll take care of him. And also, we need, like, more members to get that. I don't know how many more. More than what we have. The battle has come to us this time. People in chess saying do it. I Let literally this cannot. Be the milestone of our progress from which we shall advance. Yes, sir. <laughs> if you want me to? No joke. Give away a bunch of membership. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have to delete one of the emotes that are currently on, and none of them are worth deleting for on Maru. You convince yourself you're strong by attacking the weak. Did Ujimasa just call himself weak? <laughs> I promise that I'll leave you with more than just a scratch. Jugoku is still the most peaceful place I know. I suppose that made sense. I could imagine a place ruled by Motenari would be incredibly peaceful. And completely devoid of any emotion.
Right. Yes, solar power. Who is superior, you or I? You know the answer, of course. Men without a soul are worthless, for there is nothing for you to inflict fear into. Have you forgotten how much is riding on you? to hear what his voice sounds like just once. <laughs> I do not understand how he could expect such a pitiful force to lead the way. I really should have dealt with some of these guys before I went after Kotaro. Particularly these ninjas that shoot uh, whirlwinds. God, the whirlwinds hit for way harder than they ought to. Getting low on health. It doesn't matter. Seizing camps is just a hobby, anyways. <laughs> the tone he had when he said that—it was so sad. They just won't go down. How dejected he was. He had a great voice actor for him for this. Haven't they given the order to retreat yet? Need the parking change cow emote. Oh yeah, he does have a face like that, doesn't he? Like in the actual game. I wouldn't mind to make that one, yeah. Alright, that has priority over Admaros. So now you need twice as many members to get her on Maru mode. <laughs> Taro's cool theme replaced with this. I want to restore the glory of the Hojo clan. After that, I want to rule all. Can't you see I'm struggling to rebuild here? Of all times, why are you bothering me now? I only came because you were along my path. How dare you say such things to a poor old man? This is it. Oh, Dawson. Unlike me, I don't want to later regret leaving a potential threat unchecked. Must be wary of someone who could survive the reign of the Toyotoni clan. Hmm. Well, I suppose I do have some regrets. I should not have fought against Hideyoshi. It would have been wise of you to stay low. How's the guy surprised he had dialogue with Ujimasa at all? My dear town, my dear people, farewell. Suffer through. <laughs> I don't know what Adrian said, apparently my mods didn't like it. <laughs> he didn't deserve that. Adrian's unit has been routed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Joke, I retreated to the cat. So the Jimasa. Yeyasu, <laughs> you had better wait for me. I swear I will avenge my people. Men, dig deep and never forget this pain. Never! Oh, hey, Mothamune have been Jochiaki for us. Motoshika's on the warpath down there. He's on the move. Just as I predicted he would be. However, Mitsunari proceeds at a slower pace than we had anticipated. Hmm. No matter. Let us continue forward. Mitsunari! Another emissary from Mitsunari! They desperately need reinforcements! Already? I thought they'd last longer. How shall I respond, sir? Decline the request on the basis that our troops are dining. I... Yes, sir! <laughs> yeah, I remember that line. That's probably the most memorable line from his blue path. It's like, oh, we went out. We went out for Mickey D's. <laughs> And I'm on McDonald's now. <laughs> well, of these two, Masamune seems a far more interesting fight, so let's go fight him. Is the meaning of this? How dare he refuse to assist me? Please calm yourself. I'm sure Motonari is merely distracted with the northern battle. Even so. Yoshitsugu trying to cover for him. They're here. You don't get an opportunity like this every day. My lord, stop fooling around. You need to take this seriously. Would you? It might be fun. And I do have some time to kill. Lord Masamune, stay alert! Our enemies could advance at any moment! Let me show you how to plan ahead. Even better! There's more of them for us to kill! I like how Masamune doesn't try to, uh... take the Basara ups on the map. Unlike when you're racing Kojiro, who absolutely tries to. Like, he wants to give you a fair shot of actually beating him. Treat! Well, 
Didn't want it to be our first option, but this is it. This is it. I am the straw that will break your back. He almost beat me that time. I once thought to get. Uh, that round was all right. Look at how much they panic. You are not one to act without careful contemplation. Am I right, Motuna? Perhaps, but you haven't the slightest idea what you're speaking of. The Dark King is dealing with your two greatest foes, while you watch with amusement. You're the third strongest opponent I've faced today. And when all is done, you will be left in power. Isn't that the play? Impressive thinking for a second-rate dragon. The one thing you weren't counting on is how patient Masamune's forces are. Well, a man can only be patient for so long. <laughs> Those lines back to back. If you can't even protect yourself, how can you protect me? If you doubt it, I shall prove to you my worth. <laughs> That's a small victory. This battle is still far from over. Sunrise and shine its light on the road to victory. He's trying to suck him into the into the trap. That wasn't really working. <laughs> Show them what you can do. Charge up another stinger. Go for it. Riot, come on. Don't break eye contact. If you can win the stare, you can win the fight. Just like Lieutenant Kojuro someday. This battle is coming to its end, and I will be the victor. The sun smiles upon me. As usual, nice swordplay. This is it. It's nothing. I'll never compare to a true dragon. Kojuro! Ride like the wind! Yes. This is it. Dozens of hands yearn to kill you. Need to do a lot of jumping Your to get to the Kojiro and actually beat him. Of the Mori clan. And if you don't manage to beat Kojiro before he returns to Masamune, Good job. You he still retains all the damage you've dealt. Dominance can be an intoxicating source of poisonous conceit. Kojiro's right at home wrangling wild horses. I was trying to get ahead of him to hear the What's other line. Wrong? You care more about showing off than beating me? One shot scare the men of the battlefield. You think you can defeat me? <laughs> I wouldn't be too sure about that. I guess you better try and take your best shot now. 
Because if you don't, I'm gonna make you sorry. Got that? All right, those who wish to die first, step forward. That was a nice, relaxing ride, right? I got here as fast as I could. You do not know how to endure battle, and that is what makes you second rate. It is time to win. After having gone through so much, I suppose it was beginning to get a little tedious. What are you saying? Kojuro, I can't go on without you. Smart move. But if Kojuro were here, you wouldn't stand a chance. I am the straw that will break your back. If it were the old me, I would turn right around. I can put the Nari head lines with Kajiro, but not Musumune. I guess it kind of made sense. He wouldn't really have anything to say to Musumune as opposed to Kajiro. You are the warriors who battle beneath the sun. We have finished our work here. Oh, glorious sun, bless I did not fall. I descended. How can I be my best when my wings are clipped? Have I made you proud, Kojudo? Oh, people talking about Naltora in the chat. Uh, yeah, she's in Sengoku Basura 4. That's been really fun to play in that game. And a much better character than she is in Samurai Warriors. Better looking, too. Motochika taking out Magaluchi. So, Motochika is on the cusp of reaching Ieyasu. The wheels are turning. Lord Motonari! Mitsunari's emissary has arrived with yet another message! Reinforcements needed urgently! It is just as I foresaw. No wise person would dare attack Shimazu the Beast without backup forces close at hand. That Yoshitsugu certainly excels at his job. Then we will ready the men! On whose command? Send a reply. Motonari has fallen ill. But, sir... <laughs> As you wish, my lord! Oh, we have to play the Haramasa stage. Okay. Motonari Mori! does he think he is? He swore he would give us military support! I... I can make no sense of his actions. My friend, what is he playing at? From the blackest sky, the spirits descend upon these times, this fight to end. I refuse to waste my talent and experience in a place like this. Well, you don't have a choice, more than I. The stage is mandatory.
With my expertise, even the most rudimentary command can be fatal. I think this time I'll actually break the pots. I don't trust Motonari's damage output to counteract the, the healing. Smoke shall guide you below, and its scent shall finish my foe. I can hear it and feel it. That forbidden darkness calling us back. Where am I? What am I doing here? The spirits are returning to the netherworld. This gate to the beyond hungers for the dead. Oh yeah, I don't really know what Nautora's character is like to go to Basara for. Aside from just her, her brash mannerisms. She seems like a Genshio type to me. Because when I played to go to Basara 4, I didn't know a lick of Japanese. Now when I play a Japanese game, I can at least figure out like the gist of what characters are talking about. Look at how panicked they are! It was a while ago when I played to go to Buffer before. It even surprises me how supremely we command the battlefield. I think when I played it, that was before I even had a PS4. Just to let you know how long ago that was. I'm not gonna fight these guys. Move at the pace of a snail anyway, so I'm not gonna take over any bases before I'm done with the stage. I remember being drawn to something. It felt warm, comforting. Let this base be the milestone of our progress from which we shall advance. Yes, sir! Tadakatsu got any improvements in SB4? I think everyone did, to some degree. A lot of people were changed to where they could use their attacks midair. Which was especially fun for characters like Mitsunari. They are weakening. It appears to have worked. this camp with my life and nothing less not really adding more souls to the ranks of the dead considering you're bringing them back from the dead dozens of hands yearn to kill you they belong not without no within, for their motives are driven by sin. I shall plant a cherry blossom in your honor. The 
the sunlight banishes the darkness of night into day. So tighten the reins of your horse, calm her nerves, and steer her course. Your defeat shall aid in the rise of the Mori clan. Listen to the call of the crow, souls will weep, and descend to the bowels of hell to keep. Nice, beat him before he managed to call any souls. Somebody, please call out my name. Ah, Motoshika took out Ieyasu. You see, Ieyasu, I have finally avenged my fallen comrades. Motoshika, why? We made a pact. I thought... No! You have changed too much. The things you have done cannot be forgiven. At last, Motoshika has done away with Ieyasu. The moment has arrived. Lord Motonari! Where shall we head? Prepare to attack Mitsunari's forces. What? Mitsunari's? Did you not hear me? Advance on the Dark King. But Mitsunari's our ally, sir. It matters not. This is part of a larger plan. Yes, my lordship! As you wish! Regroup, men! We're to attack Mitsunari's forces! And now we prove Mitsunari's fear is true. Yeah, the map is just three forces right now. I am as... Motonari is as far away from Jigoku as he can possibly be right now. Anyway, it's time to kill her friend. Motonari, you backstabbing viper! Why have you betrayed me? Why do you seem so surprised? It has been clear from the beginning that I have only lent my assistance so the Mori clan may know peace. Who said anything about us being friends? Motonari, come. I have many things to tell you. Betrayal is the most heinous act I can think of. I will never let you live this down. Yeah, if there's anything to learn from Motonari's red and blue past, is that Motonari is kind of an asshole. <laughs> I am going to enjoy slicing you to pieces, Motonari. Yoshitsugu with the ellipsis of hate. Oh yeah, also, there's one other thing that's sort of an issue with uh, Motonari's moveset. This game has a big emphasis on building up combos and stuff, but like, a lot of his special arts involve him like stepping back, taking time to set up traps and stuff. So it's sort of counterintuitive, you know? Lord Hideyoshi, Lord Hanyo, your influence spreads.
Yoshitsuka, you said there was something you wished to tell me. There is indeed, which is why I am waiting here. The calm anger, one of the most terrifying forms of anger. Wheels are not a weak point. It's moving so fast. I'm getting dizzy just looking. Lord Hideyoshi has smiled upon us. The symbol of power Lord Hideyoshi left is... Oh, well, thank you. your true potential. Oh yeah, I think even Yoshitsugu's stage dialogue is replaced with the lip piece. Lord Hideyoshi. Take action and kill them. As you wish. Here's my chance. He's just seething with anger right now. Silently. The guys with the long spears are kind of annoying. What is that? Long spearmen are positioned at just the right angle they can poke you if you're just attacking the base captain and not hit them. Ah, jeez. The they're multi thrust bullshit. I don't want to live if I'm going to be the only one left standing. Oh, glorious sun, bless our arm.
<laughs> Yoshitsuku turned into a Kitaro. <laughs> we are the invincible Toyotomi clan, and we will defeat you in Lord Mitsunari's honor. Please let us get through this, and I swear I'll give up drinking! <laughs> the chat is all ellipsis now. Motonari. Go on. You have something to tell me, yes? If you break your word to another, it matters not to me. Even if your lies lead to my death. However, you turned your back on him. You left Mitsunari more broken than before. And that is an unforgivable sin! I have always detested human beings. I wished ruin on all of them. But now, you are the only human I wish to see dead! You deserve a thousand deaths. You deserve to bear all the misery in the world. But above all, you deserve to die by my hand! It is time to repay your debts, Mortimer. Know my vengeance. It is time to win! Is that all you had to say to me? <laughs> it was a bit on the short side. After all that, both of is just like, eh. When did you decide to betray Mitsunari? I knew from the very moment you first set eyes on me. You gave Motochika free reign to strike. Just so you could keep yourself out of harm's way. I wanted to retain as much strength as possible for my battle against you. It was in my best interest to pit one enemy against the other. It's quite simple, really. You... Despise the very sight of you. This is it. Is this the end? Am I to leave him behind? I warned you, that mouth of yours will be the death of you. No! You cannot die! And the scary music is still playing. <laughs> Or the angry music, I guess. This is it. Yeah, I do like how Yoshitsugu, like, gets super pissed off if you actually betray Mitsunari. Why? How could you do this to me? His voice actor was so good about showing his anger, too. Really well done, Saint. Make blood break down. Baptizing me. 
Absolving me. Allowing me to purge the traitors from these lands. I beg of you. Grant me permission to slaughter these foul men. But Hideyoshi, it is in your name I fight. Until the end. I just want to know one thing before I cut you down. Why did you let Motochika free? Tell me the truth! It was all part of the game. My strategy to obliterate you. I invented the entire scenario as a distraction, so my enemy's attention would not be on me. That means you also double-crossed Motochika! You deceived me, Yoshitsugu, and Motochika! Ryan will make you pay for your crimes! Three tears of betrayal. Mitsunari must despise this man. Get away. The sun. How could you be so foolish to think you can win against Hideyoshi's forces? In its rays, I. Dark King were to take his swords and leave Fear those wounds would never heal. <clears throat> I get it now. It's Modo Chica. You're planning to destroy him. That is no concern of yours. Enough! I won't let you! I will... And now, just one more. Also, I think that was good enough to end on, but yeah, we still got one more stage after this because there's still Moto Chica left running around. I was playing the final fight What's music. Happened? Have Mitsunari's forces really been wiped out? Uh, yes, Captain. Mitsunari has been completely defeated by Motonari! It's not possible. How could Mitsunari let himself lose so easily? And why would Motonari turn against him? They were comrades! Ignorant fool. You still haven't put the pieces together? You must be the very last one. Mutanari! Why did you attack Mitsunari? By the time you set out after Ieyasu, it was too late. Everything was in place. All that remained was an easy battle. You know, I should really thank you for your incompetence. You monster! Mutanari is really savage in this game. <laughs> Senses, peasant. I would never ask anything of someone as incapable as yourself. I wonder if I can go ahead and set this up. I don't know what to feel. Anger. 
I have never harbored such utter resentment! Rising Sun is definitely going to be the hardest part about this stage. Not this one, but the second one. Shikoku was eliminated. It was from that moment. This is it. From that moment? What are you saying? Everything sprung from that event. My entire plot to manipulate you was hatched right then and there. Who battle beneath the sun? Oh, glorious sun, bless our army. The devil can calm the waters like this. Only our captain. It seems you men are exhausted from your work at Shikoku. Truth was a lie! Prepare yourself for combat! Oh, even the regular generic guys have some unique lines for the stage. Because Motochika's entire army is pissed. As they should be. This is it. Damn it! This is all because of Shikoku! I must carry. I don't think you realize how rough the devil gets when he's angry. I bet breathing this dry air makes you cranky. How could you slay Mitsunari? He was the captain's friend! Oh. There it is. Waves of defeat in a sea of blood. Says something when I'm feeling bad for the people I'm fighting. The only thing that interests me is the prosperity of the Mori clan. <laughs> I defeated them faster than anticipated. They're all guilt tripping you. Yeah. You are but a pestering flea, an inconvenience. 
convenience at best. Do you like seafood? Because I'm about to gut you like a fish. Imagine how terrified Hideaki must be, having been dragged along for this entire campaign. <laughs> tell where that was going. You are the warriors who battle beneath the sun. Oh glorious sun, bless our army. I do like how it's like flame cannon is just a straight up like laser beam. That was a panic, Valsara. <laughs> oh, glorious sun, bless our army. This is it. I'll just round up the health for engage, Mother Giga. of those who trust you. You're nothing but a liar. You sold them all out! Hmm. Is that supposed to bother me? <laughs> Let me make one thing clear to you. Huh? Ieyasu was not responsible for the destruction of Shikoku. He... He wasn't? Then... Who is to blame? Well, obviously, I am. I did it in order to frame Ieyasu. It... It... It can't be! No... Ieyasu... Then he... You lecture me on trust. Take a long look at yourself. You betrayed your dear friend in a heartbeat, and set out to watch him suffer. Motonari... You animal! You scum! Motonari! I will crucify you! Is that so? You prove yourself quite the hypocrite. You speak of promises and friendship, and yet you act with murderous intentions. It is 
I'm going to send you straight to hell. I can only face the Aosu once I have vanquished you. Your hostility is sadly misguided. You are the one who murdered the Aosu, don't you recall? This is to avenge my men who died that day! Admit it. You traveled hither and yon, ignoring your own responsibilities. I don't know anymore. Lost. Completely lost. Damn it! What have I become? I'm a despicable failure! I feel really bad, guys. I gotta feel terrible right now. You are the warriors who battle beneath the sun. I'm getting pretty good at this if I do say so myself. Alright, that was the end of the unique dialogue. I didn't really like how quickly Motochika's theme kicked in when he went to fight Motonara. But yeah, some very good lines here. I kind of wish for these serious moments, like they wouldn't play any of the unique, the uh, generic lines. Once the unique ones were done. Oh, Ieyasu. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to everyone. This... This is all you're doing. What? <laughs> it's clear now. Everything I did... I was in the wrong. Ieyasu... Typical. A fool to the end. And that's it, just ends with Motochika essentially killing himself. Because he dropped his weapon at the end there and just let it happen. The fact that he was so depressed, he just gave up. Man. Ah, this frat was worse than I thought. <laughs> Jeez, but an Arya's vicious. <laughs> and so, Mr. I'm not interested in unification unites the land. Yeah. You see, that line was a lie. And not a shred of decency. No, he doesn't care. There's a reason his men are so terrified of him. become the one and only for all eternity. Japan unified. You did it, Motonari. Now everyone else is dead. Yeah, everyone's voting Motochika next, so yeah, we'll we'll give him his dues. <laughs> we'll let him get his happy ending. I may even skip his red path, because uh, his red path is basically just him falling for the ruse and going all the way to Sekigahara and then killing Ieyasu under a misunderstanding. Let's see, how many paths does he have? In the gallery, you can go to Sengoku History. You can select the character. You can see all the paths they have. It's got the red path, and you can see all the, like, individual branches, like, 
If you wanted to truly 100% this game, your work would be cut out for you. Because you would have to, like, take every possible path on every possible route. And you can see just how much I haven't done on the red route. Like, it's ridiculous. But yeah, uh, seems to got a blue and a green path. Green path seems to be like half of his blue one. Right, right. Okay, I remember now. Because his blue path has him think that Kanbei was the one that killed his men. So he just fucking... <laughs> his blue path ends just killing Kanbei. <laughs> his green path is the only one he actually figures it out. Uh, I'm thinking I may just go straight into his green path, maybe fight Nobunaga at the end. Probably won't bother with the red one. His blue run... <laughs> his blue run one is just being mean to Kanbei at the end. Not really worth it. Yeah, Motoshikas might be a shorter stream if I only do his, gray, his green path. Then maybe do the gray path just, you know, for the sake of fighting Nobunaga. Yeah, the great path is Nobunaga. Uh, let's see, who has the most? I think Masamune has the most routes. Yeah, look at all the colors. <laughs> How far down the list goes. Uh, let's see, I think Iyasu has a bunch too. Yeah. I think Masamune is the only one with the yellow path. Do it now. No. <laughs> yeah, it's three and a half hours. I think we're done. Alright, so yeah, next will be Otochika. Wait, Yoshihiro is a yellow? Does Yoshihiro have that many paths? No, he doesn't. I'm just curious. I gotta check that before I sign off. Yeah, no. You might be thinking of the brown path, which is unique to both him and uh, Tadakatsu. But Yoshihiro has more paths than Iatsu. Long ones, too. Did not enjoy clearing all of Yoshihiro's stories. You want to see Nobunaga's path? Sure. Prepare to be disappointed. That's it. <laughs> you don't get any choices when you play Nobunaga. You go in a straight line. <laughs> By the way, Nobunaga only has like three cutscenes. A brown path? It's, it's just uh, like this. Uh, the strongest warriors are all fighting each other on the map. Like, there's no story to it, it's just that. So, like, it's uh, Yoshihiro and Tadakatsu facing off against, like, Masamune, Kenshin, Yoshiaki, because apparently he's considered one of the strongest. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's it for this stream. So, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Uh, I'm probably gonna try and stream tomorrow because I like streaming on the weekends unless something comes up but we'll see all right see you guys next time